We have incoming. <gasps> Admiral Quinn to Ops. What's happening? It's an invasion. We're under attack, Admiral. It's the Herc. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Online. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. So, victory is life is here. The day has come, and victory life is here. I hope you all are ready and excited as I am for the new expansion. Uh, I am. It's currently what, like. A little after 9, the servers have come up earlier. They haven't even let anyone know on Twitter yet. So I've just been trying and trying and waiting for the servers to come back up because I've been playing this game long enough to know how they work. So before we get started, I want to make sure to let you guys know that I hope you have a great day and I hope you're having a great day. My day's going quite well, especially because excited for a new expansion of Star Trek Online. And also, if this is your first time joining me, you should check me out on Twitter to keep up to date with all my videos and everything that I'm into and interested in, as well as I do, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Polls on patreon.com slash ziggenbagel, including a poll right now for the next MMO on the channel after we are done with the Star Trek Online series. So, for anybody who's already been watching... The, uh, the storyline that we're currently on with the Delta Quadrant, we will be continuing after we finish the brand new storyline for the Victory is Life expansion. So let's get things started without any further ado and jump right in because I am super excited to get things going. Uh, also, I want to make sure to say that there is a new playable race in the game. You can play as the Jem'Hadar. So that will be something that we'll try to do in the future for sure. Okay, so, episodes, all the way down to the bottom, we have the Gamma Quadrant. Storm clouds gather. The Dominion and the Alliance attempt to find common ground against the Hark as attacks by the reawakened foes escalate. Let's hail to find out what we have in store for us. I have goosebumps. Do you? Head to DS9 as soon as you're able. Okay. The Alliance has agreed to a summit meeting with the Dominion to discuss the return of the Hark uh, and what can be done to prevent their aggression from devastating all four galactic quadrants. Despite recent events, we've agreed to host the summit at Deep Space Nine. None of the galactic powers are comfortable hosting a Dominion fleet deep within their territory. Uh, meet with me at DS9 prior to the beginning of the summit. I'd like to discuss our options. Go to Deep Space Nine and meet with your faction leader. Okay. Very, very good. And we're going to accept that. And I'll make sure to say that also with the expansion, they have done a complete redesign externally and internally of Deep Space Nine. So we're about to find out how it looks. So I'll bring you guys back in when we're about to enter Deep Space Nine. All right, we're back. So I want to make sure as we're nearly approaching Deep Space Nine to let you guys know that before the expansion, I went ahead and bought another another one of the Define Class ships, the specific specifically the one that gives you the quad cannons. And I went ahead and did some upgrading of it. So we got it to MK13 with damage times three. And it is a very, very good weapon for this ship. So that should help us out quite a bit. I was trying to get our ship and everything prepared so that we can uh, make sure to not be dying a whole lot because yeah we still got a lot of work to do and we're nearly at Deep Space Nine where a large fleet of other players is starting to gather awaiting the fun of the brand new expansion so here we come hello Deep Space Nine we are ready for you okay begin storm clouds gather We've entered the Denorius Belt, Admiral. I'm reading several civilian vessels on sensors. In addition to the flagships of the summit attendees, the station is still damaged from the recent attacks. But it appears what 
critical system repairs are complete, their damage control teams must be working double shifts. Indeed, Helm, take us to the station. All right, Please. so we're low on fuel and supplies. We need help badly. Okay, well, this is—I guess this is how they're explaining the Tell redesign. The ambassador, that any Jem'Hadar aggression will be met with deadly force. Okay. Deadly Force indeed. Travel to Deep Space Nine. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Deep Space Nine this damaged, and Deep Space Nine has gone through a lot. I mean, multiple giant fleet attacks on Deep Space Nine. This and is Station Control. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Your docking clearance has been authorized. Several of our docking facilities were damaged in the recent conflict. Please proceed to the provided coordinates. All right, sounds good to me. Continue. Also, Captain Nog is waiting to meet with you on the promenade at your earliest convenience. Enjoy your stay here at the station. Yes, Captain Nog. So, I've been uh, having fun making sure to talk to some of these actors on Twitter, which has been fun, some of the interactions we've had. And, yeah, I've been very excited to see Nog again. And let's see... Um, uh, a lot of them. I've, <laughs> I am so very excited to see these guys back together again. So, dock it. Deep Space Nine. Hello. Nice to be working with you again. I've been assigned to assist you here on the station. The leaders of the four major delegations have asked to meet with you prior to the summit meeting. Their offices are located here on the promenade. Very well, Captain. Wow. He sounds just like he did... <laughs> All those years ago. Oh, man. My goosebumps are so real right now. <gasps> oh, my God. They got baseball teams on Deep Space Nine now. In memory of the old commander of Deep Space Nine, Benjamin Sisko. Oh, man. It's so... Ambassador Odo is here, coordinating security efforts. Nog! Hey! What's up, Nog? I'm standing right next to you! This is so awesome! Oh my gosh. You have no idea. Well, you guys probably have an idea, because if you're watching this, you're probably Admiral as Quinn's excited. Admiral office is behind those doors. Okay. That makes sense with the uh, Starfleet logo here. Also, I want to make sure before we continue that uh, f for this beginning video, I'm trying to get it out by 3 p.m., so hopefully it is. And we will be having daily Star Trek Online for until the 11th at its regular time slot at 9 a.m. And then after that, it'll go back to every other day as it usually is. So prepare for the summit meeting. Speak with the faction leaders. Speak with Admiral Quinn. Speak with Chancellor Jampak. Speak with Pro Council Deton and Ambassador Odo. So let's go in here first and talk to Admiral Quinn. Hmm. The results of this summit could have long-lasting effects. A number of our allies, particularly the Klingons, consider the Herc to be a Dominion problem. The Federation sees this as a chance to improve relations with the Dominion. Of course. Having allies in the Gamma Quadrant instead of enemies would be a great step toward galactic peace. Indeed, and open up one of the last quadrants of the uh, entire galaxy. Okay. Very, up, oh, up, oh, zerp. So, nice little interaction there with Admiral Quinn. What do we got over here? Oh, I'm excited to see what Quarks looks like now after the uh, changes. What do we got here? We're just trying to see what all is around. Okay, there's something through this door. Is this, uh, oh, oh no. Renee Aberdeen. I'll be blunt. The Herc have decimated most of the Dominion. All but one fleet, gone. It's all the Jem'Hadar can do to keep our remaining worlds from being laid waste. There is no diplomacy with the Herc. We don't know why they're attacking. We're not even sure where they're coming from. I'm sure there are those in the Alliance who would be content to let the Herc destroy us. But where do you think they'll turn once they're finished? Oh, it's so good to see you, Odo. You haven't changed today. All right, good question, Ambassador. Oh, man. Oh, zerp. Uh, so, not a surprise, it's a little bit laggy. It is an opening day, like the first, uh, the first, like, 
hour of expansion opening, so having some lag would be expected. Man, I'm loving how nice the station looks now. Feels like the uh, upper promenade is not as low as it used to be. Alright, looks like this is the Romulan area. Yes, yes, yes. Garrick's cloth uh, clothiers. Where's where's Garrick? Elam Garrick, counselor. Hey Garrick, can't wait to talk to you someday. Hopefully, we should be, cause uh, yeah. Chancellor Jumpock has an office here. Okay, well thank you for letting me know. Uh, okay. Zerp. Uh, hello, Jumpock. It's a really small this office. This summit may not end well. Most of the High Council sees the Herc as a Dominion problem. They are content to let them fight to the end and deal with any survivors. But there are others, such as Martok, who see that position as dishonorable. If they want to fight the war of their ancestors, so be it. But they will be doing so without the Empire. The same could be said for your Federation, should they choose to aid the Dominion. All right, understood, Chancellor. Oh, I'm kind of close up on him, wasn't I? Okay, who are you? Dominion refugee. All right. I love that this uh, mission's taking us all the way around the ship, the uh, station. Here is Proconsul Deton's office. So we get to explore it, and we're being escorted around by Captain Nog. So bloody brilliant. Hello, Deton. What's up? This summit may be difficult. While your people will see a path toward peace, I suspect the Klingons will feel the opposite. There is no love lost between them and the Dominion, or the Herc for that matter. The Republic position is one of pragmatism. A weakened Dominion will be easier to deal with, and the Herc are a threat no one can ignore. Indeed. Understood, Proconsul. Alright, looks there like- There are several Alpha Quadrant leaders here for the summit. Kai Kira of Bajor, yes. Counselor Garrick of Cardassia, and my father, Ferengi Grand Nagus Rom. I recommend meeting with them as well. Their worlds will be on the front line if the Herc launch a full invasion into this quadrant. Yes, that's, yes they will. Oh man, it, it's such a good reason to bring back all these characters because you got Ferengi Grand Nagus, so that's representing Ferenginar, and then we got Kira for Bajor, of course. Uh, and, cause, and she's the Kai now, which is insane when you think about all the things she went through. And uh, Garrick, which is great. Very well, Captain. Let's just keep moving on here. So very excited to hear and talk to everyone. We know that Garrick is this direction. Let's come back over here and go to Garrick's up, up, office, which is... Okay, one more... Door Looks down. like Counselor Garrick is in his old tailor shop. Huh. Huh. <laughs> yeah, brings back memories, doesn't it? All right. What's up, Garrick? Hello there. I take it you're not here to update your ensemble. Though, if you'd like a few suggestions, I'd be happy to provide some. In the meantime, let's talk about serious business, shall we? I'm sure you'd like to know Cardassia's position on the Herc problem. It's simple, really. They're a menace, and one we should deal with swiftly. <laughs> look at that, like, creepy look on his face. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Surprised? <laughs> Don't be. Cardassia was recently attacked by the Herc. We'd have fared poorly without help from our neighbors. Even the Lucari and the Ferengi offered a hand. I trust this lesson isn't lost on you. If we stand alone, we are doomed. All right, this used to be your store, or thank you, Counselor. Uh, let's do that just because I want to see what he's going to say. Once upon a time when I was but a tailor. That was before plain, simple Garrick <laughs> became a member of the Detapa Council, of course. Before the Reconstruction and the Iconian War and the Herc. While I'm proud of the work I've done for Cardassia over the years, there's a part of me that yearns to be here once more. To be just a tailor. Just Garrick. I can imagine it was probably more simple. 
Uh, and for anybody who's watching the ser- who's been watching the series, a lot of these things we haven't gotten into in our current playthrough. So, uh, yeah, we will be getting back to those soon. So maybe a little sneak peek at some of those things. Uh, we go where we're needed. Will there be anything else? Uh, let's see. Nothing at this moment. All right. So moving on to the next, we have Kira and Grand Negus Rom. With uh, I'm sure we're probably going to see Lita. My my uncle's bar. Hard to believe he used to work there, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, so wow. Oh, whoa. There's actually an exterior bar area for. I believe the Kai is here in the Bajoran Temple. That's crazy. I love. You don't actually. There's no loading area for it either. You just can walk right into Quirks now. Amazing. Oh. Oh, raw, what, what, Morn? Oh, Morn still has nothing to say. So sad. I miss Morn. Good man. All right, talk to Grand Nagus Rom. I was wondering when you'd come along. I'm guessing you're here to talk about the Herc and what we want to do about them. It's no secret that the Ferengi aren't a military powerhouse like the Klingons. Most of the time, we'd be happy to make a tidy profit from all of this, and as far away from it as possible. That changed when the Herc attacked Ferenginar. We would have been wiped out without help, and we didn't get it from Starfleet or the Klingons. We got it from the Lucari and the Cardassians. Even a few not cool ships showed up to fight. That showed us that this is everyone's fight, big or small. So, we're in. And if the 34th rule of acquisition comes into play, well... Well, uh, I'm trying to... Re I can't remember all the rules of acquisition, so not sure what the uh, 34th rule is. Alright, how did you convince your people to join? Or thank you, Grand Nagus. Yeah, I, I was actually wondering that myself, considering... It wasn't easy, believe me. Oh, I can imagine. I managed to get the board of liquidators with us, for now. Most of them see the potential for incredible profit. Alliance defense contracts can be very lucrative. The rest, well, let's just say their self-preservation instincts are strong. They'd rather fight with the Alliance than stand alone. The Herc have me thinking about adding a new rule of acquisition. If they can't be bought, get ready to fight! <laughs> That's a good one, Rom. I mean, Mr. Grand Negus. So, that seems appropriate, uh, where the Herc are concerned, indeed. Did you have another question? Alright, not at the moment, no. Oh man, so good to see you, Rom, and Lita, looking good. Okay, so, we're going to the temple to talk to the Kai. Oh, oh, zerp. Hello, Kai Kira Nariz. Hello there. I suppose Admiral Quinn sent you down here to see where Bajor stands. I can tell you we're worried. The Herc were a few ships away from ravaging our homeworld, and if the Dominion falls, they'll be back, and we'll be the first to face them, so Bajor stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop the Herc, even if that means joining forces with the Dominion. Yeah, tough call, but I understand it. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently, a sign from the prophets. I see a place I've been before, a world beyond the grip of death. It's the home of a former Kai, and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're going to take a journey together soon. Oh no, I just got really nervous because I, I, that was like the first season, I believe, of Deep Space Nine with the old Kai. And it was the world where you die and you're basically stuck there because they just keep coming back to life. That's what she means by, um, like, in the, uh, the a world beyond the grip of death uh, and the former Kai. So I'm really nervous that Kira could die and be stuck there too. Oh, but it looks like we're going to be taking a journey with her. Uh, okay, so what of your duties as Kai... Or, that's quite a revelation, Eminence. Let's see, we'll just go with this guy. Something else on your mind? Uh, let's see. What of your duties of Kai? As Kai, I'm obligated to serve the will of the Prophets. 
Doing so leads me to many places, not just Bajor. That can be difficult, especially in times of war. There's been a lot of that in the last few years. First the Dominion, then the Klingons, the Iconians, and now the Herc. There are times <laughs> when I wonder how Ben Sisko managed during the Dominion War. And he was the emissary. I've tried to follow his example whenever possible, but it's... It's been a challenge. Yeah, no doubt, but it seems like you're doing a great job, Kira. Something else on your mind? Alright, not at the moment. The Alliance has asked a number of special consultants to attend the summit. I know each of them well, and I can vouch for their knowledge and skill. Even my Uncle Quark. <laughs> Despite his reputation, his knowledge of the Gamma Quadrant is valuable. Just don't mention Latinum in the discussion, or the value of his information could rise considerably. Yep, uh, not a surprise. No Quark quite well, so understood. Alright, so speak with Quark, Lita, and Dr. Bashir! The amazing augmented doctor of Deep Space Nine. Alright. So, okay, we can go right back in to Quark's bar to talk to Lita. Hello. Oh. It's been a while since I've been in this place. I can't believe Quark still has that hollow me in here. It's a little embarrassing, to be honest. I wish we were all here under better circumstances. Then again, DS9's always been a trouble magnet. Yep. <laughs> yes, it has. peace is a little too much to ask for around here. Indeed. Well... I wonder if she knows that she has hollow hers all across the quadrant. Uh, yeah. Continue. My husband is risking a lot of capital, political and otherwise, by choosing to get involved with all of this. Fortunately, he's the best Grand Nagus to come around in a long time. The best ever, as far as I'm concerned, but... <laughs> I'm pretty biased on that point. Well, I mean, he doesn't force you to walk around naked, so that's a plus, right? Look, if I were this mirror version of me I've been hearing so much about, I'd have a lot more tactical advice to offer. As it is, my advice to you is this. Take a look around. Think about all the civilians, the refugees, people who are depending on you to protect them. Think about the best way you can do that, if you can. That's what I'd do if I were in your shoes. Boots, whatever. Uh, mirror version? Well, we already know about the mirror version, so we don't need to ask about that. But yeah, thank you for the advice, Lita. Was there something else? Alright, no, thank you. Alright, very, very good. Let's move on. Wait. Oh, that's Quark. We want to talk to Quark, too. What? No, no, uh, maybe the voice is not working for Quark? Okay, so, they dragged you into this too, huh? Can't say I'm too surprised. you come a long way since you're a scrap of the Klingons as a cadet. Whoa, you know about that? That's crazy. I'm here because my fool of a brother, the Nagus, seems hell-bent on getting the Ferengi into this mess. Not a lot of profit in fighting the Hark. 34th rule or not. You can't spend your money when you're dead. Yeah, yeah, continue. If you ask me, oh. we'd be better off sealing that wormhole and saying goodbye to the Herc and the Dominion forever. I'd miss the Tulaberry wine, but I'd get over it. But seeing how that'll never happen, especially as long as Kira's still breathing, I suppose I'll have to dig in like everyone else. You know what the worst part of this mess is? Odo. He's back like a kind of ghost haunting me. I must be cursed. <laughs> Lucky you, Quark. So yeah, as expected, there can be certain bugs and things that happen when uh, something new comes out. So you can bear with it there. But I'm glad that we finally got to hear him. So I hear you're, you own a moon now. I think you'll manage, Quark. We'll go with that. I do. And I'd be there, enjoying myself. If it weren't for the Grand Nagus. Brother or not, I wanted nothing to do with this until he put Lucari terraforming tech on the table. Couldn't pass that up. It'll cut biosphere renovation costs on my moon by 70%. 
Even with Odo here, and a billion Herc trying to demolish everything in sight, there's profit in the wind. Might finally land that exclusive Tula Berry export contract I've been dreaming about for 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, assuming the Hark don't eat all of the tula berries. Can I get you something? Uh, I'm fine for now. Sounds good. It was nice talking to you, Quark. Now we have Dr. Bashir, who I guess is over... Yep, that's the medical wing. Oh, so excited. Oh, a little bit too close there. Looking good. I like the digital version of Bashir. Hello. It's been a while since that business at Corvat, hasn't it? You're looking well. My compliments to your CMO. As you can see, I've been recently recommissioned. I'm doing what I can to get things in order here after that business with the Zankethi and the Herc. We're still treating casualties, and it looks like we'll be seeing more soon. A lot more. All right, so uh, there is a storyline before this one that I personally have not played ever before so that's where some of these things are coming up but we'll see all those later because we will get to them so very interesting i guess we get to see bashir before this then the situation is compounded by the presence of civilians both local and from other systems even the dominion we have a number of refugees from the gamma quadrant on the station and more are on the way clearly the sooner we can solve the herc dilemma the better We'll be beyond our capacity to help the refugees soon, as will Bajor. All right, recently recommissioned. You left Starfleet, or thank you, Doctor. Well, I, I want to be able to hear from them as much as possible, so that's why I'm going with all the choices. I mustered out some time ago to start a private practice on Trill. Since then, I've worked on special projects for Starfleet from time to time as a consultant. Even managed to start a family. <laughs> Needless to say... I wasn't initially thrilled with the idea of putting the uniform on again. Still, it's very hard to say no to Kai Kira and Captain Dax. Ah. And so here I am, back on the front of an interstellar conflict. Here's hoping it's a brief one. Yeah, I can imagine it was probably really hard for you to uh, resist when it's Captain Dax involved. All right, an ideal outcome, but unlikely. Something on your mind? Uh, let's see. Nothing now. There's a number of refugee groups here on the promenade. All right. Well, looks like more talking to people. Uh, and as usual, for Star Trek Online, they're usually longer episodes. So, hope you guys bear with me. Especially because there's a lot of good stuff going on. So, talk to the uh, Kremen refugee. It must be a surprise seeing... Kremens here on a Federation station. Let that th sink in for a minute. It's so bad in the Dominion that its citizens are looking for safe haven with their former enemies. The Herc aren't our only problem. When the invasion started, it was like the founders forgot about us. No Jem'Hadar came to our rescue. No Vorta with words of comfort or relief. Nothing. There's, uh, there's even talk about rebellion. Of leaving the Dominion altogether. Well, that would be interesting. We were the lucky ones. We got out early. I, I've i heard rumors about a blockade keeping the rest of us from leaving the homeworld. It might be true. I haven't seen any more Kremens arrive here for a while now. Please, the Founders have forsaken us. Don't let the Alliance turn their backs on us too. We'll do what we can for you. All right. One refugee group down. Who else do we have here? The Gamma Refugee. We're lucky to be alive, friend. There was little warning before the Herc attacked our homeworld. We sent a call to the Founders, but no Jem'Hadar ships came. Our local defense force didn't last long. A few of us managed to get away on ships before the Herc closed in. Okay, continue. Word of the Bajorans and their faith reached us after the war ended. There's stories about one of their spiritual leaders. She came to the worst of us on our prison moon to bring the wisdom of the prophets. So, when the Herc came, we decided to come here, through the Celestial Temple, to seek deliverance. If the Founders won't listen to us, perhaps Kai Kira and the prophets will. 
All right, I thought I recognized those uniforms. It's the same kind of look that they had on that moon where you get brought back to life. The Kai will help you if she can. Quinn here. The summit will begin soon. I'd like to go over what you've learned. All right, submit report. Interesting. The Klingon and Romulan positions were somewhat predictable, but I'm surprised by the resilience of the Cardassians and Ferengi. I'm also concerned about the Gamma refugee issue. We'll need to work with the Bajorans to manage the situation here. We should get to the conference room. Report to me there when you arrive. Yes, sir. All right, go to the conference room. Let's see. Oh, wow, the map looks so much more interesting. All right, looks like we have to take the turbo list here. Go to the conference room. Oh, yeah. Everyone is gathered together. Ready, so let's talk to Admiral Quinn and see what we got in action. Well, everyone's here and no one started shooting. Could be worse. That was a joke. Take a moment to relax, <laughs> speak with the others. Things will be serious soon enough. Hey, you, you always want to make sure to laugh when your superiors tell a joke, right? Right? All right, yes, sir. Okay, so we got to speak with some more people here again. So, talk to Captain Kumark. Hello. I have high hopes for this summit. Many worlds in this quadrant have been attacked by the Herc, including my own. We must all realize that without the Dominion, the Herc will wreak havoc throughout all quadrants, and we will all suffer. Indeed. I can't help but think that there's a path to a peaceful resolution in all of this. There's got to be some way to end this madness before more lives are lost. Perhaps there is. All right. Speak to Kai Kiranarees. Hello again. I spoke with Odo about the vision we discussed. He's agreed to clear a mission to the old sector. Opaka, the former Kai I mentioned, lives there now. Wow, she's still alive. That's crazy. Uh, does this involve your visions? I believe so, yes. The Kai has a condition that has prevented her from leaving until now. Odo has provided us with data that could lead to a cure. Oh, if wow. If there's a chance, I'm willing to take it. Her wisdom could help us all greatly. <laughs> I realize this is a lot to take in, but I hope I can count on your help when the time comes. Uh, you'll have it, Eminence. For sure. It'll be great to see uh, Kai win again. All right, talk to you, Weyoun. Greetings. It is agreeable to see you especially outside the confines of Facility 4028. I'm glad we had a moment to talk before the summit begins. I trust you relayed everything you learned from us to your superiors. If I may be so bold, I hope that you conveyed a need for cooperation with the Founders as well. At least in matters regarding the Herc, if not in all things. All right, so great to see the uh, Wayun again here, uh, especially because this actor, it's not his only time that he's been in the Star Trek universe. He was also uh, in Star Trek Enterprise as a very important character. You can remember who that is, then put it in the comment section down below, because, uh, yeah, it is great to hear him again. So, of course. All right. And we have General Martok. Hello, Martok. It is good to see you again. Jem Park is more of a political creature than he was. Well, when we were both a lot younger. He's not willing to face the truth. There are Klingons who fear the Herc, hiding behind politics and rules. Grethar waits for their worthless souls. Know this. There are still Klingons who know where their blades belong. We will not dishonor our ancestors and ignore the Herc. We will fight them to our dying breath in the name of Kalos and the Empire. Yes, all the Empire. Uh, you won't be alone, General. Oh, man. If I can have everyone's attention. Thank you. Let's begin the summit. We have a lot to discuss. Indeed, man. I forgot how uh, inspiring Martok can be. 
Thank you all for coming. By now, you should be aware of our tactical situation. The Dominion, as you know it, is on the verge of collapse. We've withdrawn to our core systems, and the lines are holding, for now. Without your help, the Herc will win the War of Attrition. What about your outer systems? We're receiving refugees here, from those areas. We have one fleet left, Admiral. That's hardly enough to defend the entire Dominion. I'm failing to see how this concerns the Empire. The recent battle here is a sample of what the Herc can do. If you think they'll stop at the wormhole, you're sadly mistaken. Need I remind you that the Dominion came to your aid in the Iconian War? I seem to recall Klingons placing high value on debts of honor. Or has that changed? Mind your tongue, Changeling! I will not! Be insulted. Oh, the wormhole opened. We have incoming. <gasps> Admiral Quinn to Ops. What's happening? It's an invasion. We're under attack, Admiral. It's the Herc. Reading Herc boarding parties. Multiple decks. They've concentrated in the damaged pylon, or processing area. I need you to get to that damaged pylon section and lock it down, before the Herc trigger an explosion that could wreck the station. Alright, things just started to kick off. I'm on it, Admiral. Alright, secure hangar, take turbolift to hangar. Gotcha. Alright, turbolift to the ore processing area. Alright, very nice. Okay, we have all of our officers ready and waiting to start the fight here. Oh, wow. Prepared for anything. But you're creepy. I haven't got to meet the Herc yet because I haven't gotten into those stories, but... Oh, man. I look really concerned. Oh, you are a big, big boy. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, that's not the only one. Wow. We look really, really scared. Uh, yep. I, I kind of feel concerned myself now. Okay. Uh, shoot everything. Die, 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 die. Let's, yep. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a, uh, it's a, a lot of things. Okay. Just a warning. I might die quite a bit because I haven't done a lot with our, uh, with our cell for ground stuff. And we haven't gotten that far in the story to help much. Come on, somebody help me. Is somebody going to come here? Please? All right, there looks like there's three things left. Where's, are they, they went back in that hallway, it looks like. Dragging them out, call for help, come on. What the, okay, well, I'm just gonna respawn. Okay, here we are. Where are we at? Okay, we can shoot them from up here. Lucky us. That, oh, jeez. They can jump! That is crazy! Oh, he jumped back up again. What? Wow, these things are creepy as crap. I am excited to find out more about the Herc now, because this is insane. Okay. Very nice. Looks like we... Alright, there's still some more downstairs, so let's keep heading back down. It's weird that the respawn point is Bad up news. top. The hangar security shield is on the verge of collapse. If it drops, you'll get pulled out into space, so let's make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, that would be good. need to stabilize the power relays and recalibrate the shields. There are consoles near your position you can use to do this. Alright, acknowledge, Captain. Good, good, good. So, where we... Okay, looks like we have to come... 
over here, like this. Working. You can't use this object right now. Alright, look, there must be one downstairs we have to get to first. Come on. Okay, well, it doesn't allow us to jump over that. Oh, wow. Usually these maps let you jump over railing, so kind of surprising. Wait, are there more? Oh, crap. crap -o indeed. Alright. Okay, yeah, more just spawned up top. Just trying to see if there's something down here we have to activate. Since we weren't able to. Oh, okay, maybe it was waiting for these guys to spawn first. Since we were brought up top. Okay, maybe now we can do this. Wait. Up. Oh. Yep, it looks like we had something spawn. Looks like. Did they change this? It, they made it look like a. Uh, the the, uh, the gear you get is very noticeable now for the drops because it has a beacon that sticks out. It's really interesting. All right, all right. Now, can we access this console? All right, we got that one taken care of. We got the other one now to recalibrate the shield. Working. Working very hard at our station. Nice work, but it's not over yet. Of course not. The Herc have moved into the ore processing area above your position. There's a lot of unstable uranium ore in there. If they damage it, it could ignite and set off a chain reaction that could destroy the pylon. You'll need to make your way up there to secure the area and restart the safety systems there. All right, understood, Captain. Sounds good. Looks like we have to head up some more stairs here. What do we got? Oh, man. Mm. Looks like the access system in this section was reset. You'll need to rotate the central column and extend the bridges in order to reach the next section. Okay, very well. Rotate pillar up. I'm trying to see what it is exactly we're trying to rotate. All right. Let's see here. Okay, there's a walkway over there, but how do we get to that walkway? All right, I want to see where that walkway is so we know how to get over there. Actually, no, we can't jump over this. No. Is there a way? Hmm. Trying to see where we can get from here. Extend walkways. Will that do it? Right. There's walkway there. Okay, good. It opened up. So we can come over here and get to the other side now. Oh, more guys spawned in. Just trying to see where we go from here. It's very dark and gloomy. Okay, there's a stairwell up here that heads up top. Okay, more creepy things. Much more creepy things. Oh, that's a lot of them, too. Just going to try to let our officers do some of the work here. Like a so. As they should. Aggressor. Oh, man. These things are definitely quite powerful. I will say that for sure. All right, looks like we took care of him. Not too bad. What are you doing down there, Travel? Are you stuck? All right, retract walkways. Looks like we're going to have to take it another way again. All right, uh, rotate pillar down. No, we don't want it to go down, right? We want it to come back up. Mm, okay, let's try down first then and see what happens. Okay, good. There's an area up here. So then we just extend the walkways again. 
And... We got it! Okay. Make our way across. Hopefully Travel will respawn up here. Okay, you're almost in the clear. The safety systems for the area are currently offline. You'll need to restore power to that section and reinitialize the safety systems to get everything back online. Alright, acknowledged. So, restore safety systems. Uh, with the system power and safety systems. Sounds good. Looks like we got a station over here to work on things. Uh, safety system power. Okay, another one over there for the other guy. Okay, so the power is reinitialized. Uh, now for the safety systems. All right, the safety systems are reinitializing. They should be up and running in a few minutes. Nice work. Hold on. I'm picking up multiple Herc life signs in your area. They're converging on your position. Of course, I was figuring we were going to have to hold them off for the next few minutes. So continue. I need you to defend that section from the Herc until the system comes online again. If they get in before that happens, they could knock it offline again, or worse. Okay, understood, Captain Nog. Oh gosh, spawned right behind us. We don't even have everyone up here with us because of all these walkways and people getting stuck. Okay, trying to wait for our abilities to come up. Ow, ow. Like so, just try to make sure to use our abilities so we can survive this. Alright, getting our shield, that'll help too. Okay, good, good, good. Wow, ouch. Oh, don't die. Okay, we're doing okay. Disabled, come on. Okay, incapacitated. It would help if all of our people were up here. I think the only ones that were up here with me are dead. Yep, respawn. Good, good, good. That should bring everyone back up here with us. Up, oh, up, oh, come on. Come back around. Make our way through here. Like a so. We just sit in here in the walkway and funnel them in. Right, they, ha they have a pretty powerful melee, that's for sure. Take him out. All right, we got flanking damage on this guy because he has his back turned towards us. Up, oh, he's coming back at us. Okay, good, good, good. Anything else to worry about? Okay, we can shoot these guys from here. Wow, they have some interesting looking weapons. At least they can't get us melee over here, so it's a good way to work things out. Have them line aside it. I know that's not a word. Okay, abilities, use these guys to help us out more. Oh, and they've given us flanking damage as well. Alright. Are we almost done? Man, there's a lot of people to take care of here. Well, I shouldn't really call them people. They're creepy, uh, creepy, creepy things. All right. This looks like it's the last one, maybe? Perhaps? Okay. Looking good. Let's come over here and grab our drop. Oh, oh, no. oh okay. I missed it. So we're beaming out. The Herc are attacking the station and several civilian vessels in the system. I've sent ships to assist them, but I'm concerned our forces are spread too thin. I'd like you to work with those ships to protect the civilians while the rest of us defend the station. First Dukon Rex will accompany you as a combat escort. Alright, sounds good. Sorry about the missing of that one conversation. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to collect that and that happens sometimes. We're a conversation will pop up and you're trying to F at the wrong moment. So, we'll keep them safe, Ambassador. Let's do it! Starfleet vessels, this is Quinn. Protect civilian targets. Let's make sure that we cloak. 
So we get the most out of our damage. And... Fire everything! Oh yeah. Love me my quad cannons. And I love me some massive space battles, of course, as well. Gotta back us back up here. We have a better view of the fight. Oh yeah. Man, so many ships. Okay, good, good, good. Fire everything! Oh yeah, massive damage. Took out quite a few ships there. Plotting the course for Beta Z. May the prophets guide you. Sounds good. Be safe. Looks like we have another group over here just waiting so we can cloak again and head in that direction. Oh man. I was hoping that it wouldn't just be a talkie talkie mission. And fire everything! Release the Kraken! Oh yeah. Pretty good. Taking out these guys. Looks like the swarmers are pretty easy to take care of. Hit one of these Ravengers. A much bigger target. Suck it. Oh yeah, definitely something better for us to try to focus on. The swarmers are very easy to hit. And we got one more guy right over here. As soon as we're within range, fire! Okay, good, good, good. We're gonna reverse. Thanks, and good luck with the herd. Yep, you're welcome. Alright. Let's be able to cloak. We can head off to the next group of ships here. Wreak havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Fire everything! Okay, good. I'm glad when target shit. Uh, oh wow, look at those swarmers. At least they're not on us. They're swarming on the Jem'Hadar ship. We'll focus on these Ravenger guys and let them take care of those tiny swarmers. Looks like they haven't finished protecting the station yet, so we might need to help out when we're done. Which I have no problem doing. Love me a good space battle. Right. All right. There we go. Oh, that was close. Thank you. You're Thank very you so welcome. Much. Okay. Secure the system. So. Nice work. Oh. But I'm afraid there's bad news. We're picking up Herc vessels and they're heading our way. The station's weapon systems are offline. We need a few minutes to get them up and running. Until then, we're a sitting duck over here. I've asked every ship in the sector to regroup and prepare for battle. Let's hope it's enough. All right, we'll do what we can, Captain. Let's protect Deep Space Nine. Oh, Jesus. That is a lot of ships. Holy crap, holy. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Fire Order everything! Fight now and destroy the herb. Concentrate fire on their capital ships. All right, we'll try our best. Not sure what the capital ships are. Oh wow! Let's try to make sure. I need those systems online. To uh, boost our stuff here. All right, rock and roll. Okay, good, good, good. Guessing the Nacrid assemblers a capital, maybe. I will teach it to that. Yes. Systems online in 60 seconds. 
Oh yeah, look at that. So much. Oh wow, they're immune right now. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Speed away. Deploy that. Don't let the frigate swarms get behind you. I'm trying my best here, Odo. I am trying my best. Wow, this is one crazy fracking battle. Just a few more seconds. And this game has had some crazy battles in the past, so... Alright. Oh, wow, we still got another minute and 20 seconds of defending to do. Fire everything! Okay, okay, good. We're turning our forward away. Yep. Defense systems online. Not, oh gosh, we're, oh, we're dead. Oh, that's fine. Just means that we lost our aggro and we can respawn here again in 10 seconds. Oh man, this is an insane battle though. Look at that stuff. Nothing like defending Deep Space Nine for like the third or fourth time. All right, start up our stuff here and prepare for firing. Yes, yes, yes. Goodbye, swarmers. Swarmers are easy for us to take care of. Maybe let the bigger ships handle other things. Okay, good, good, good. Let's try to get back into the main fight. Actually, like this assembler right here would be a good place to focus. Let's go reverse. Focus fire. Oh yeah, we're taking it down now. Ouch. These things hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, rock and roll. Get our defensive buff up. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, focus on this assembler. Full reverse. Alright, they got their immune up right now. Come on, stop being immune. Not sure what keeps them immune, but... Okay, defeat the remaining. So that's all we have left is to defeat the rest of them. And we are good to go. Alright, there's one, another one down. Almost got this, guys. Wow, the station is not looking happy. Not at all. Fire everything! Alright, they're immune right now. Let's try to... Maybe shoot the swarmer. Target shields have failed. Pretty good. Actually, they're okay. Good, 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 good. Everything is back up and ready here. All right, swarmers. For the most part, it's just swarmers left. We got that one assembly. Oh, okay, that guy's almost out as well. So, very, very good. Finish everyone off. There we go. It's the rest of them. We defended Deep Space Nine once again. That was the last of them. We're not picking up any Herx ships on long range sensors, for now at least. I think it's clear that the Dominion is prepared to work with you to stop the enemy. I hope the Federation is ready to do the same. Yeah, agreed. Hmm. In the meantime, our fleet will do what it can to keep the perk on our side of the wormhole. Tell Admiral Quinn not to wait too long to make a decision. This will reach the Federation faster than anyone would like, believe me. Alright, sorry about the very loud explosions. Uh, yeah, understood Ambassador, it was great talking to you. Okay, all decks have reported in, Admiral. Ready to depart on your command. All right, let's depart the system.
Okay, we have returned to Sector Space. Let's hail command to report. The Herc threat is real, and we can't afford to let it expand throughout the galaxy. There will be resistance to getting involved, but I believe we have no choice. The Federation must render aid to the Dominion if we're to have any chance of stopping the Herc onslaught. In the meantime, Kai Kira of Bajor has requested a mission to the Innis system, and Ambassador Odo has authorized it. The Kai has asked for our assistance on this, and she asked for you by name. Whatever she needs, make it so. All right, we will, but that will be for the next episode. First, got to see what we want to pick up here. Mining Plasma Cutter, MK-12. Uh, let's just get that guy, because I don't really care about Polaron weapons for our ship. Collect reward. All right. We are so very close to leveling, leveling up to Fleet Admiral level 61, because they increased the level cap to 65 with the expansion. And... So the next mission we have is to help Kira in the Gamma Quadrant with Armatus, which we will catch in the next episode tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So don't, uh, don't miss it, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Star Trek Online. If you did, don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you miss out on all the daily videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and as always, don't forget to live long and prosper!